IRS A10 refund freeze. We are going to go over exactly what I have found on the IRS.gov website in terms of refund freeze. Welcome back everyone so happy to have you back for another 2023 tax refund update let's go ahead and get started with a refund freeze the irs has categorized it in terms of a b c and d so a freeze refers to there is a credit available for offset there's a balance due and balance due uh, refers to topic 203 reduce refund and the irs may reduce your refund due to past due child support federal agency non-tax debt state income tax obligations certain unemployment compensation debt owed to a state uh, as well as uh, compensations paid due to fraud or contributions owing to a state uh, fund that weren't paid those are some of the reasons now you should receive a notice in the mail if the irs reduce your refund explaining why if you do not receive that notice you can call the uh, bureau of physical service at 800-304-3107 to find out what is going on now another uh, category for refund freeze a is a duplicate return if there is a duplicate return file the irs will freeze your account to investigate what is happening all right and that can occur when you file an amended return also a refund paper procedures for accounts with return integrity if there is identity verification issues fraud issues the irs may also uh, freeze your account next b freeze refers to a payment erroneously post to a wrong period which is fully paid so if there was an issue with your payment being updated that may also freeze your account now c freeze refers to the one that we all know which is the path act if you claim the EITC additional child tax credit, you know the IRS cannot issue a refund uh, before February 15th and your refund will be freeze until then. Now the D freeze refers to tax play, uh, taxpayer claims more estimated tax credit than are available. So there are is an issue with the credits claim as well as taxpayer with an outstanding liability on a previous joint return files a return showing a married filing separate or single status the taxpayer with an outstanding liability on a previous single or separate return files a return showing a married filing jointly status and lastly the primary social security number on a joint return is the secondary social security number on a prior year return so if there are issues with previous returns and now the return is showing something differently the irs may freeze your account to investigate especially if there is a balance due if there's a payment that were not uh, resolved the irs will freeze your account now that review process can take up to 16 weeks this is why you get the uh, 60 day notices as well as the um, 30 day notices that is because these issues can take up to 16 weeks to be resolved you need to continue to check the wmr as well as your irs online transcript as well as your mail to see if you need to provide the irs with additional information you can also contact the taxpayer advocate service at 1-877-777-4778 make sure to check out the 2023 income tax refund playlist pin in the comment section don't forget to like comment share subscribe hit that notification bell and i will see you again with the next update